It's a great point that you make, or you have ADHD. ADHD is fascinating because it shows up in so many ways. One of the things that I find super interesting about ADHD is that sometimes there is a different differential diagnosis that is made improperly where it is actually a trauma response. So part of what's going on in the ADHD mind is that there is a dopamine deficiency, that the parts of the brain that digest dopamine aren't digesting it well. And dopamine is what makes us feel good. So hypervigilance, or when you're in a trauma response, you're like this. So if your nervous system from being raised in a chaotic family was like this, how are you going to go sit in school and then pay attention when there's already a nervous system dysregulation? The thing that I like about healing the repetition compulsion more than ADHD, than, than just ADHD, ADHD, you know, neurofeedback's amazing for, um, I would take some supplements. There is, um, Noni supplement is good to help. 5-HTP is a supplement that's good to help. But if you heal the repetition compulsion, you ascend, you go up in your ascension process, you heal the root cause, and then your brain can, can start to absorb the dopamine. And that, again, goes back to that mind-body connection. When we heal the emotional body, it shows up in the physical. So there's four bodies, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, and the energy comes down from one to the other. So when we heal one of these three, our physical body is restored to health. And so I love it, right? Like, yeah, bad relationships because it's ADHD, like super solid point, you know, and it gives people options of how to cross, cross heal. Um, but it's important people don't just be like, oh, I have ADHD when there's a lot of trauma underneath there. So thank you.